Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing the problem fill the tank. In this problem we are given that the tanks are connected by a pipeline as a tree. And since the people working at the city corporation are lazy, see, so like a tree, the tanks are connected. So these are the tanks and these are the pipelines. So the people are lazy and they would be filling one tank and the excess water would be flowing to other tank. But there is one thing to note here. The thing to note here is that the tank excess water would flow from this tank to other tank. But suppose, okay, suppose this, so suppose the excess water flowed from this tank to this tank. Then the excess water from this tank won't flow to this tank, but it would flow to all other tank. Okay. So that is why it is written and it flows to all other connected tanks, except the tank from which the water has come to it. Okay. So as the labors are lazy enough, they are not willing to figure out the minimum water, but he has been asked to find out the minimum water, which you need to do. So basically the task is that you need to find the minimum water so that by filling up one tank, you can fill up all the other tanks. And if it is not possible, then you need to return minus one else you need to return the answer and the maximum water that can be given to a particular tank is till 10 to the power 18 okay which is given at this point okay this is the maximum water fair enough so now let us proceed with the evaluation of the first test kit. so we are told that this one has a capacity of one this one has a capacity of one this one has a capacity of one. This one has a capacity of one. So if we give five water, then first it would take up one and then four. So two would flow here and two would flow here. So that is why this would fill. And after this two has come here. So one after taking one, one water would flow, one unit of water would flow and this would fill up this. And here as two units are coming in, but the capacity is only one so one unit would go waste okay that is why the answer to this is fine okay so now we can say that the first and the brute force solution okay the first brute force solution is that we start off with the minimum water suppose the minimum water is one and the maximum water is 18 so you start off with one and check if one is sufficient enough to fill up all the sub tanks or not. Then you do two and then you again try to water it. Then you go to three, then you go to four. And the first point where it is true, that would be our answer. And even at 10 to the power 18, this is not true. Then you need to say that, yes, I can't satisfy this. So the value to this is minus okay so the function would look like this suppose we have one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten itself i would just take up this and i would keep up here okay so for now suppose the minimum water the answer to this is five so for this value it is false for this value this would be false for this value, this would be false. For this value, it would be false. Why? Because for these all values, it is not possible to fill up all the other tanks. But if the answer is 5, then this value would be able to fill up all the water. And if this value is able to fill up, then by using more water, we can definitely fill up. So this value is also true. This value is also true. This value is also true. And it would go till 10 to the power 18. But my main focus is that the function is kind of like this, that it is false, 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 true, true, true. Or it would be if it can't satisfy till 10 to the power 8. Okay, then it would be kind of like this. Okay, now how to check if I can satisfy it or not? 
by doing a simple DFS by seeing seeing see suppose you fill up this suppose you fill up this what water and then you go down and see that what is the maximum value and compare it with the maximum then you go down and you compare with the maximum this is how you can check if the water is sufficient or not so for checking water is sufficient or not we need to do a dfs on each of the nodes dfs on each of the nodes means that a time complexity would be big o of n okay and if you are checking from 1 till 10 to the power 18 and in the worst scenario 10 to the power more than 10 to the power 18 water is required so time complexity would be 10 to the power 18 multiplied by big o of n which is absolutely greater than 10 to the power 8 so this would give definitely give you a tle and this is not the expected time complexity the expected time complexity is n log n okay fair enough let's move forward so we know that this is not gonna work but we can see that these type of function does vri like we can't satisfy this. this is the condition when we can't satisfy it in 10 to the power 18 this is the condition when this is the minimum point okay or this is the condition when one unit of water is enough in all three scenarios we can observe that these are monotonous function and if we have a monotonous function and we need to find the first occurrence of true last occurrence of true first occurrence of false or last occurrence of false then definitely this question is of binary search on a answer so what we need to do is the answer is like this so just this is enough so what we can do is suppose we start off we start off with 1 till 10 to the power 18 okay so low will be 1 and high will be equal to 10 to the power 18 so we would take out the mid value okay so mid value would be nothing but low plus high divided by 2 itself now what to do if we want to find the first occurrence of false so if the mid value is not able to satisfy or the value is false then we need to move on the right hand side so if we are moving on the right hand side that boils down to the conclusion that low is equals to mid plus one okay and high would remain the same now suppose it is true so if it is true that means there are two scenarios either it is the first occurrence of t or either it is not so to know the first occurrence of t we need to move on the left side to move on the left side what we need to do is at the mid is already checked so we need to move to the left hand side as the mid is already checked so what we would do is high is equals to mid minus one and here we would update the answer okay update the answer answer variable and this would be done itself okay and the so the time complexity of binary search is log n and for each checking we are doing n operation as discussed before so that would be n log n which is the desired time complexity fair enough but if we observe the given sample test case then we can see that if we are moving on the left hand side then we can take out the maximum value that it has like it has the capacity of one then we go here it has a capacity of one then again we go here it has a capacity of one then we can multiply the maximum capacity with the number of nodes or the number of children of a particular node okay so what we can do is if simply we just go down okay we start off from the start node we go down okay just we go down 
So suppose this is the value. So I would just take the value that is given itself. Okay. So here it is given that we would start from the five itself. So we would start off. Then we would go to either of them, which is not visit. Okay. And then we would find the maximum, maximum value. Like this is the maximum value one. This has a capacity of one. This has a capacity of one. Then we find the maximum capacity. Okay. And then we count the number of children. Like we are doing parents. So if it is visiting here with a non-visit, if it is not visited, so we would visit it and the count of the children would increase. If we are visiting it and it is not visited, then the count of the children would increase. Then we are visiting this and the count of the children would increase definitely. So we would count the number of children also. Count children also. At the end, count of children, which is C, multiplied by the maximum capacity. And if it is greater than the value, then we would return minus 1, that is 10 to the power 80. Else we would return that value that this is the minimum one. Simple enough. And as we are doing one traversal only, okay, so time complexity would be big O of n, which is better than 10 to the power, which is better than n log n. So we would move forward with the implementation of the most optimized one. Okay, so let us move forward. Now to ease the implementation, what I would be doing is I would be defining LL as long, okay, long long as LL. Then to write 10 to the power 18 again and again, what we would be doing is define INF infinity with 1E18. So I've just defined it so that the before the compilation, this gets replaced itself. Then we would build up the first graph itself. We need to build up the tree. To build up the tree, what we need to do is we need to have a vector itself. The vector of vector of n and i would just name add adj why adjacency list itself then we need a visited array to do the dfs also so vector of n of this visited array okay fair enough next we would build up the graph first okay so what we would do is for each test case we would first clear the graph okay you can ignore this also but it is just a uh, Suppose it is running for multiple test case and we are using as a global space. So if anything you are using as a global space, remember that you can just clearing it is a safe option that you can do. But if there is only one test case, you can skip it also. So ADJ. Uh, so this would go down. So we would now resize it. Okay. Resize it to N plus 1 itself. Okay. Then visit it dot clear. Okay, we would clear the visited array also and then we would resize in this also. Visited dot resize. Okay. With n plus 1. Okay. And then we would initialize everything with a false value that is 0 itself. Okay. You can directly use a boolean also and you can assign a false value here also. Now we would take the input that is n minus 1. Int i is equals to 0 i is less than n minus 1 and i plus plus. Fair enough. Next we would go down and a d j of edges. Okay. Edges of i and 0 dot push back. Okay. Then edges dot push back edges of i and then one itself okay so this is just like this is a tree so we can go from suppose there is a path from u to v so we can go from u to v as well as from v to u okay this is an undirected path so we would just do the same thing okay so we would just copy this to one and we would push the value zero itself okay next we would go down and then we need to build up Okay. Now to start off with this, so we would have DFS. Okay. This would return a long, long value. And this would take a value source that is the starting point and the capacity of each one. 
so we are given here the capacity so it is written like okay so we would just take the help of this okay so we are done with the capacity now long long child is equals to zero so we have no childs as of now and visited of you is now true which we basically do in a dfs and then long long rest is equals to the capacity of the you initially we have don't have children so to feed up that particular we have the resultant as this and the mx would be zero itself okay then we would be moving to the neighbors of the particular one that is a d j of particular u neighbors of this we are moving and if the neighbor is not visited not visited of this particular e auto e so this is u let's make it v okay u to v this would be more simpler okay u to v then long long current is equals to dfs of this particular e and the capacity array would remain the same now if the current value is equals to equals to minus 1 okay now after this dfs for the child is equals to equals to minus 1 that is we can't feed the child or basically in the according to this question we can't fill up the tank of the child then we would return minus 1 from this point only because we need to fill up all the water tanks else we would go down with mx is equals to max of mx and then per itself okay and then we would increase the child okay because this is the child itself which is unvisited and then we would add the values res plus is equals to mx multiplied by child okay now if res is greater than inf that is the amount of amount of value we have like 10 to the power 18 water unit of water is only there so if we require more than 10 to the power 18 then it is not possible so we would return minus 1 else we would return the value itself that is the rest of them okay the number of childs multiplied by the maximum and if the required water is more than the water available then we would return minus 1 else we would return the required minimum water itself okay so now we go down okay and then we just call this function that is long long rest is equals to dfs of the start one and then a capacity okay and then we just return this so return this and we can directly return to the ones or it is compile and run So we are getting a correct output for the sample test case. Now let us submit and see if we can get an EC or not. And yes, we got an EC. That's it for today. Thank you and have a nice day. If you face any difficulty regarding this question, consider raising your doubts in the comment section below. Thank you, everyone.